Hello, I'm Sue McMahon and I'm cookery editor of Woman's Weekly magazine and I'm going to show you how to make Irish cream truffles. The first thing I need to do is to melt the chocolate. I've broken it into pieces and I'm going to put it in the microwave on full power and to start with I'm going to put it on for two minutes. It'll probably take somewhere between two and four minutes, perhaps five, but it's important after the two minutes to check it regularly to make sure that it doesn't burn. And I'm also going to bring the cream to the boil. So after the two minutes, this is almost done, so I'm actually just going to stir it now until it has completely melted. I think there's enough heat in it that it will melt the rest of the chocolate. So once the chocolate has completely melted and it's nice and smooth, you can pour in the boiled cream. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of the Irish cream. And then stir this well. And I actually find that the best way to get a nice smooth mixture is to use a stick blender. So it looks like it's going lumpy to begin with, but it will all come together. So you can see it's starting to become a smooth mixture. So it's sort of quite thick and syrupy. And I'm just going to stir it to make sure all the mixture at the edges is well mixed in. And then this needs to be poured into a container, or you could just leave it in a bowl like this to chill it down but I find it normally takes less space in the fridge if I put it into a smaller container. And this needs to be chilled now for several hours until it's firm. I normally make this mixture the day before I want to use it, so it's chilling in the fridge overnight to get it as firm as possible before I shape it on the next day. So for shaping the truffles, I find the easiest thing to use is a melon baller, but you could just use a teaspoon to scoop the mixture as well. So I scoop out some of the mixture, which is still a little bit soft, but it means it's okay to shape it. Then I roll it into a ball, trying not to get any cracks on it, and then coat it in the icing sugar. Shake off any excess, and then put it into a paper case. These can be left out at room temperature, but if it's quite a warm day, then it's better to put them in the fridge until you're ready to serve them. So coat it completely in icing sugar, shake off the excess, and just drop them into the cases. So these are my finished white chocolate Irish cream truffles, and I've put them into a heart-shaped box so I think they make a nice romantic present for an occasion like Valentine's Day or you can put them into any box. Um, whenever I'm given a box of chocolates I always save the box afterwards so I can put my homemade sweets into them at a later date and I think they look quite pretty to give as a gift. Mm -hmm.